Good afternoon, my paper crafting friends. It's Dawn Borgette. I'm a Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator. Today is June the 7th. I know it's not Sunday, right? But while I was gone last weekend, um, we as demonstrators were able to order, pre-order. So with that being said, I had boxes arrive and they were here when I got home on Sunday. But um, after a fun-filled weekend, I was extremely tired. And yesterday, I was still getting my bearings straight. In fact, I think I am yet today. And I've also accumulated a head cold allergy thing going on. So I may sound a little different, <laughs> but it's me. So welcome. And um, I know that this was a spur of the moment type of a live, but you can always watch it as a replay as well. So what I wanted to do was show you not everything that I received, but we'll dive into some of the products today. And then maybe what I'll do is another live again tomorrow because there's a lot of things and I didn't even get the opportunity other than to take everything out of the boxes um, to bundle them up together because we have some double bundle suite type things and all of that. So some of that would make more sense if I would have had time to do that. But then I decided, you know what, let's just show what we can show today. And then maybe what I'll do is part two tomorrow. That way, we're not going to keep you here for hours. <laughs> I mean, it's great to look at new products, right? But I don't want you guys bored to death either. But before we do get started, I just wanted to mention once again that our mini catalog that's been active since January, this ends the latter part, the last of June, June 30th. So if you do want anything from this catalog, make sure to do so as soon as you can, okay? Um, lots of good stuff. And if you browse in my group, or on my page, which is where we are right now, my page, uh, you can print. You'll find the document or the PDF to print of all of the items that are retiring, and some of them are marked as much as 50% off. So take a look and see if there's anything else that you would like to grab up before this catalog expires on June 30th. So you guys ready? I can't show you the inside, but I can show you the outside. <laughs> so there we go. So this is our new mini catalog that will start July 1st. And I think it's active until January 3rd of 2023. That's weird to even say. Anyway, and along with this, when this kicks off, guess what else will kick off? Celebration. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have to say that I think that this celebration is going to be one of my very, very favorites. And like I said, I can't show you what's in here quite yet unless I have it. Maybe tomorrow we'll get into the, what's inside here, but I just can't show you the inside of the catalogs, the brochure uh, quite yet. But anyway, so with that being said, whew, I'm so excited. Let's dive in and show you some of the products that I did receive, okay? And by the way, isn't this cover Beautiful, isn't that pretty? Just so you can, you know, see something. Hello, Kristen. And then of course, I'll show you the cover, a little close up sneak peek of Celebration. Okay, all right, so um, I was trying to be organized, but that just didn't even work. So first of all, what I do wanna let you know about, right now we have our BOGO on our kits. <laughs> My box got a little squished, didn't it? Um, so we have the buy one, get one on all of our kits, uh, which is a really good deal. This one is brand new and I wanted to show it to you. I haven't had a chance, obviously, to put it together, but it's like a mini scrapbook. So for those of you who maybe have kids that you think may be bored this summer, or, hey, Kathy, hi. Um, or maybe, maybe uh, 
I don't know, vacation Bible school and they're doing something with crafts or you're on a plane or a train or an automobile. These things go great. If you're camping, um, hanging out with friends, this just looks like a lot of fun. So basically, let me show you this. This will explain it better. So it's like a mini scrapbook. Isn't that cute? And it comes with all the stuff. This kit is $25. Um, you're going to get, it looks like, some washi tape in here. And it looks like some double-sided tape. So that's kind of cool. I like that. Pretty neat. And also, of course, it comes with a block. So if there is someone who's new to stamping, uh, this is great, right? You get a block, your stamps, which probably would look better if, I put it on something, here we go. Let's do this, okay. So you can see it's a booklet that you can add to it. And I'm gonna show you the stamps like this so you can see them a little bit better. Hey, that's better, right? There we go. A <laughs> really cute set of stamps. And then um, they give you an ink spot. And this one is Parakeet Party even though I keep wanting to call it Parakeet Punch. One of these days, this is going to be a punch instead of a party. Well, you know, you need punch for a party. Anywho, so it does come with um, full color instructions. And I also posted, I believe, a video last week explaining this a little bit as well. But just some guidelines. Of course, you can put it together any way you want. Hi, Kathy. Hey, hey. Nope, I just jumped on. Just jumped on. So it's good to see you. So um, anyway, I just think that this is actually very, very cool. It has quite a few pages in it. And then it has these cute little pockets. So you could do... Um, I don't know, little, um, a bit of journaling in here, or maybe concert tickets, something like that, photos, some fun stickers. Everybody knows how to use a sticker. No, actually, no, these aren't stickers. These are punch outs. So they're perforated, ready to punch out. So some really cute stuff, right? Look at this. Oh my gosh. How cute is that? Oh, I like this one too. Here we go. Here's some stickers. Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And some more punch outs. So yeah, this kit looks so stinking cute. I can't wait to put this together. Um, and maybe I'll actually put some photos in it too, right? Maybe my adventures on my um, taking out our side by side and going and playing in the mud. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. And once again, all of our kits are buy one, get one 50% off for all of June uh, while they last. I'm assuming that if they've run out on a particular kit, then just try something else. But our kits run between $12 and $25. And then if you put, let's say, an example of a $12 kit and a $25 kit into your cart, Stampin' Up! will take the 50% off the more expensive of the two kits. That's pretty awesome, right? So, heck yeah, why not? So anyway, that's our kit collection, our newest kit. And did I tell you the name of this? I can't remember if I did. And like I said, please forgive me as my head is a little foggy today. <laughs> Hi, Beth. So this again is called love this memory notebook kit so yeah so grab that up it's it's a good one okay so where do i even want to start let's start with ribbons because my ribbons are right here next to me i love ribbons i love embellishments you guys know this um this is the iridescent ribbon and i'm trying to find the end of it here we go so it's um it's fuzzy <laughs> and it's very glisteny and sparkly. I like that a lot. So that's going to be fun to play with. Like I said, I think that all of this stuff would make more sense if I would have had time to put them in their 
perspective bundles and stuff so please forgive me but if anything at least you guys will get a look now this is our new gold ribbon i'm really loving the width of it and um yeah it's beautiful and i forgot to snap that open so that's that this is a double pack this is the real red and garden green ribbon combo pack this is part of like a double suite of product and what I love about this ribbon is it's very soft and pliable. I, I think that this is going to be really easy for me to tie bows with. Let's put it that way. Um, it's garden green and real red, which are traditional Christmas colors, right? And um, sometimes I like to be non-traditional, sometimes traditional. How about you guys? Are you guys more of a traditional? Hey, Beth, that's okay. I've been called worse. <laughs> no worries, my friend. So how many of you who are watching, are you traditional um, Christmas color people when you decorate? Or are you more non-traditional? This I did not open either. I thought I had opened all these. I'm so sorry. But this is our uh, Very Vanilla and it is lined with gold and that is really really pretty really pretty i like that and then oh my goodness i didn't what was i thinking i didn't open up any of these let's go ahead and we're just gonna do it watch me cut right into this this is exactly why i don't normally do this live <laughs> mistakes and mishaps happen right okay so this is our twine and what's really cool about this if you guys can actually see that there's a little bit of sparkle in that and it's that light pick up. yeah i guess i'm just picking it up and i did want to do the live while the sun was still nice and bright um so you guys could really see the colors and some of this stuff but yeah i really like this one too I like that a lot. Okay. And then the last one, let's see if I can open this little critter up too. This, again, it feels pretty pliable. I like the layer. So it's almost like a layer of, is it balmy blue, I believe? Yep, balmy blue with white. That's really pretty. So those are the ribbons. I have to tell you, truth be told, part of the reason why I wanted to do this live now is because I got this stuff all over in my room and it's driving me crazy that I haven't put it away. But I don't want to put it away and then get it back out to show you guys all the stuff. So <laughs> that's why we're doing it this way because I want to get this stuff put away. Um, this is something different. So these, this is a set of three in white, black, and real red. And it is, um, they're calling it pearlized enamel effects. So it'll be, it's not really like a puff paint. It's just to add dimension, which I think is going to be a lot of fun to play with. I'm wondering how fast it will take to dry. It won't be an immediate thing. So this will be one of those when you have more time for a project to set aside. But um, from the look of what they've done with it in the catalog, I really thought it was cool. So I needed to buy a set of this. So it's the pearlized enamel effects. And then also with that being said, puff paint or puff, what is this stuff called? Snowfall Accent Puff Paint. Yeah, it is puff paint on. Hello. Anyway, so puff paint is back. This is the stuff that you don't want to get too overzealous with when you heat it because it grows and it can get pretty crazy. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Anyway, I thought it was cool that they have brought this back. So I had to get one of those to play with. And then also some other embellishments here. Um, let's see. These are the flat jingle bells. Now these really caught my eye. I love the size of them. I think that they're super cute. They're not too heavy, but they are metal. Uh, they're just stinking cute. 
I love adding things like this on my cards and my projects. Um, so, yeah, I love those a lot. And then the next little trinket thingy I got here, let's see. These are the texture elements. So this is more, well, I don't want to say fall for fall because it could be actually the berries like holly berries. I think these could go either way, using them on fall or into the actual holiday Christmassy projects. And they are wood. Now these are going to be something that could be delicate. You know what I'm saying? But I think that they are super cool, and you could um, color these up with your blends, uh, with your ink pads. So I think they're going to be a lot of fun. So I had to get those. I'm an embellishment girl. I just love anything to foo-foo a project. How about you guys? Hello, Pam. How are you? So if you guys want, go ahead and type in where you're, where you're viewing from. I like to see where everybody is from. That's always neat. Here's another embellishment, um, more sequins. I, I love sequins, things like that, especially these things that have the adhesive on the back because they're super easy to use uh, on projects. And these are the adhesive backed seasonal sequins. And I know some of the colors you can't see are behind. You can see it's like a green-ish color, it looks like. I just haven't cracked those puppies open yet. And then, it's so funny, because these are called red and green adhesive back pearls. I see the green. The red must be underneath here. Let's. I'm going to go ahead and open these, <laughs> because I'm curious. I'm seeing every color but the red. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, there they are. Okay. So these are really cool. They're metallic-y. Is that a word? It is now metallic-y. But um, I'm loving those to decorate for like Christmas trees and things like that. You know, you know. And then, let's see, what else? These I thought were really cool. These are the Leaf Label and Amber Gem Combo Pack. So I want to show you these. Um... They're like craft colored leaves. Aren't these cool? And I just realized they have a hole in the top. So you could do like a garland. Wouldn't that be awesome? Oh my gosh. Um, there's a gazillion of these little guys in here. So how fun is that, right? And then it also comes with these cool amberish colored gems which I think are very pretty and let's see oh these here the adhesive backed stars see if you guys can see that iridescent in those very very pretty I really like those oh I can't wait to play with more stuff <laughs> more stuff makes me happy okay um, I really love the Memories and More note cards, and then also when they come out with the, um, card kit, I believe it, yeah, card pack, I guess is what they call it. So this is Santa Express. Now, this isn't going to make as much sense unless you see the whole suite, but there's a whole suite of product, uh, with the Santa Express, and it's adorable. It's Santa Claus, it has a train. Um, the DSP, we'll get into the papers. I will show those to you guys today. And um, let me see, let me show you. Let me show you, just a sec. Let me dig something out here, because it will make more sense. So for example, there's part of the paper. And let me get, the stamp set. So this particular one, I just thought it was adorable. So here's the stamp set. I think that the sayings on this are super, super cute. And it is a photopolymer stamp set. 
and then we have the dies that will go with it. And what's nice about the dies that Stampin' Up! is doing, of course, is um, some of these dies will work with the print in the paper. Pretty cool, right? So those are the dies, which I'm really digging. And then, so these little cards will make more sense to you guys. But like I said, I put all of my stamp sets and bundles on a shelf for now, so they're really not right here with me. <laughs> so I think I'll do more of the bundles into tomorrow um, where I put everything together, but I will show you this one because it's just it's stinking cute. I'll go through it. Oh my goodness. Ah, isn't that cute? Oh. Oh, I really like this side. Can you guys see that okay? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. It's kind of sideways. Um super super cute paper. I love the colors in this. It's more traditional-ish. Um oh, that's really cute. And this is fun. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can definitely see some fun projects in my future with that. For sure. So this is all part of the Santa Ex Express, Santa Delivery Bundle. This is called Santa Express. Duh, Dawn. <laughs> so there you go. So that's the DSP. So with that being said, put that aside. Here is another part of the suite. So you can get the note cards and envelopes. So they have the red, and I believe this is, oh my gosh, is that spruce, shaded spruce in real red? I should check. Let's check what's on the back of the paper. Let's see, let's see. Um, Evening Evergreen, oops. I don't know, it looks like spruce. Okay, anyway, so you get a bunch of the envelopes, which are super cute. They're decorated. And then on the back, or on the inside, like a liner, which is kind of cute as well, right? So less work for you. And then these are the note cards. What I like about these is that they're white on the inside, so you don't need to put a liner in them. The other nice thing about these is you can choose which side you want to use for your front. So if you want to fold it and use that as your front, that's great. If you're more into having it a plain front, you can just flip it around. And the same with the red. You can go ahead and you can use this side, or if you think, ah, oh, that's too busy, I would rather use the plain side, you have that option. And I think these are great because there's no cutting. You don't have to score anything. They're already all done for you, which I think is great. And then along with those, there are these really cute note card, um, it's a card pack. So you can use these as far as um, for scrapbooking, but I love to use them for card making as well, or decorating a gift bag or just about anything. But check these out, you guys. So these are, they're like wood. That's all. <laughs> I'm thinking that they are wood. Um, they'll be very dainty, so you'll need to be careful with these. But what I like about them is that you could color them any color that you want with your blends or with your ink pad because they've left them kind of like a off-white color, which is really cool. And then there is a like a layover, which is kind of cute. I could see decorating one of our six by nine, I think it was a six by nine book with our pocket pages, and then maybe decorating it up to put um, recipes in, maybe your favorite recipes, or if you do a cookie exchange, something like that. Oh my gosh, you guys, check these out. Some more layouts, or overlays layouts. Silly Dawn. <laughs> and here's another. That's really cool. And this one. Oh my gosh, this is this is really cool. I was not expecting those. And then these are always double-sided. 
and you get two of each. No, actually four, maybe, or three, maybe three of each. So we'll just go through these really quick so you can see them. But again, I, I love to create with these. Oh, that's so cute. Um, it just makes for easy crafting, super easy cards. Sometimes I can whip out a bunch of cards with these and not do any stamping at all, which is really, really nice. Oh, that, that's cute. <laughs> Mr. And Mrs. Claus. Super adorable. Or you could use these as, of course, mats for your pictures. Oh, I like that one. That's cute. Another one. And it looks like some cardstock stickers. And those right there. Super cute. So if you wanted to do like, um, what do they call that? The best of December or something like that. Or countdown to Christmas. Anything like that, really. Um, then those are the four by six. And they also give you the three by four. See if we can get these little buggers open. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six of each of these. Ha, super cute. Whoops. I want to make sure I get those so you guys can see them. Okay. Then there's that one. Merry Christmas. Whoops, whoops, whoops. And this one here. Oh, I like that one. That's cute. And then, of course, journaling cards, if you'd like, if you are doing, or recipes, that type of thing. Oh, that's really cute. I like it a lot. <laughs> and everybody says, what do you not like? Very rarely do I not like something. That's my problem. <laughs> that's why I'm a demonstrator. It's the only way I can afford all this stuff that I love. Oh, my gosh, he's a cutie. Look at that. Oh, he's so cute. I love Santa, you guys. I'm a big kid at heart. And I love this one. That's really cool. So that's fun. So those, again, are the note cards and envelopes. And then the card pack and the memories and more that are part of the whole suite of product with uh, the Santa Express. And Santa's delivery. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Now, what do I want to show you guys? Let's go over to this. So I love embossing folders. Um, I think it's a great way to add a little bit of punch to your cards. This is a double or a double set, I guess. And I kept this with it because it's just easier to see um, than just holding up the folders. But this is a set of two and they're called the Charming Landscapes Embossing Folders. And I just think that they are just darn cool. I'm looking forward to playing with them. Isn't that neat? I love those. So that's one of the set of, well, that is the set of two. And then there is this guy. This is a 3D embossing folder. It's called Whimsical Woodlands. Isn't that neat? So let's check it out. And again, like I said, it's easier to see that photo than it is when I just hold this up. But it's very, very cool. I love our 3D embossing folders because they really put a punch onto your card. And then we also have the 3D embossing folder called Leaf Fall. Check this out. I love fall. I'm a fall baby. And so anything fall related, Halloween related, I am all about it. Hi, Wanda. How you doing? So I wanted to show you guys that one because I think that this is just uber cool. And then I did pick up a few new punches. This is a trio punch. It's called the Very Best Trio Punch. And you can see it will do triple duty. So I'm excited to use that. And then we have, hmm, I wonder if I could find this really quick. Give me a second. Let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 
like I said, I should have been more prepared and put some more things together. So this is a bundle. <laughs> I love witches. I love witchy hats. I think there's going to be a lot of fun things that we'll be able to do with this. But this is the, um, I think we call the witch hat builder. Yep, witch hat builder punch along with the stamp set. <laughs> I just think it's super cute. It's going to be a lot of fun creating with that. Again, I'm super into Halloween, so it's my bag. And then there's a bundle for this, but I decided just to get the punch for now. I do too, Wanda. Aren't embossing folders the best? Um, this is called the Handmade Tag Punch. If there's a punch, I just, I have to have it. Punches are just easy peasy, simple, one and done. So I wanted to get this right away, but um, my order was getting quite uh, large and I had to call it somewhere. Okay, before we get into the DSP, I wanted to show you guys a couple of cool little packaging things that I was eyeing and I'm like, oh my goodness, these are so darn cute. So these are the Stars Treat Bags. And I'm gonna pull one out here for you to see so you can kind of get an idea on the size. Now these remind me of, you know, luminaries that you find along the road at Christmas time, but they're small, aren't they cute? So like if you're doing decorating on your table, you could put in, um, you know, the battery operated little tea light candles and maybe decorate on the table itself. Of course, you could decorate this to the hilt or just put a ribbon on it. Um, we have our spritzers. We could spritz the bags if you wanted to, to color them up. That would be really pretty. Um, could also put different color paper behind there and totally make the bag look completely different. But anyway, I just think that they are super cute <laughs> and I had to get them because I'm just I, what can I say? I'm a sucker for packaging. I, I love pretty packaging. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that back in there. Good deal. Okay. So the other um, little treat packaging that I thought was pretty clever were these. And I'm not going to totally assemble it, but I was kind of playing with it because I wanted to see, again, size-wise, how big they were. But these are cute. These are called the Envelope treat boxes they already have the adhesive on them so you don't even have to worry about that you'll just peel off the adhesive on the tabs and put it together like so and then this will come up and whoops this is actually the bottom sorry and then this will tuck into there if it was put together, but it's not. But I wanted to show you guys the size, comparing it to my hand. Um, it's a cute little size. So it would fit like a tennis bracelet in there nicely. Ha ha. <laughs> a pair of earrings, candy, um, diamond necklace, you name it. <laughs> just give a few hints out there with the box and say, here, the packaging is all set. Just go buy me my earrings or whatever it is that you want. Okay. And it also has these cute little seals, little gold seals as well. So I thought that was pretty, pretty, pretty cute. Okay. Let's jump into what we all really love. And that is the designer series paper, right? In fact, I'm going to wait and put that in later. Okay. So let's dive in, shall we? <laughs> All right, so this is the Real Red and White 6x6 six six Glimmer Paper. Very, very pretty. What I love about our Glimmer Paper is that it doesn't shed you know, like sometimes you get all that glittery stuff all over the place. And I'm not going to say it, but I, what I will say is this. Glitter can be really messy and never leave. And um, I love sparkly things, but I do not like glitter all over the place. And it, yeah, the kind that never goes away. So um, I totally appreciate that Stampin' Up! has made glitter paper that doesn't shed and go all over. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? 
We have another six by six pack. This is called Lights Aglow. This is a, a suite, part of a suite of product that is absolutely gorgeous. But um, I did not get that. However, I wanted to get all the paper so I could at least check it out and see what it was all about. So with that being said, let's just take a quick glance through it. I apologize because, like I said, it's just kind of a quick thumb through on the paper. But you could get a, a better idea on it. Ooh, that's really pretty, isn't it? Very gorgeous. Ooh, that's really cool. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's like watching the fireworks, right? Ooh, ah. <laughs> but, um... Oh my gosh, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous paper. Yeah, I think that this is gonna be very popular. Check that out. Oh, how pretty. So um, if you see the, the tree design in this, the dyes um, do the same type of a, a design with the, uh, oh my gosh, I went in like brain farts today. Anyway, they cut the same way. Does that make sense? Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's really pretty. I like that a lot. That's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. I'm digging that. That's very pretty paper. And this, again, is called Lights Aglow. Gorgeous. This one really caught my eye, and I couldn't wait to see this in person. And so we're going to rip it open and check it out. This is called the Metallic Shimmer. It is also 6x6 six six in size. And let's take a quick peek at it. Ooh, that's really cool, isn't it? I like that. And let's see. It's single-sided. Very pretty. Wow. Yep, it's gorgeous. This, I could see Halloween. It reminds me of candy corn. I don't know why, but it does. Anyway, I thought that was really pretty. And I'm not gonna open this up. This is just basically black paper, but Back by popular demand, Stampin' Up! has brought back the 12 by 12 basic black paper. Yay! I'm fairly excited about that. Especially for those who um, scrapbook. We have white, but they took away our black, so they brought the black back, which I'm very happy about. Okay, speaking of black, we have black and white paper. This is 12 by 12 in size, and this is called... Black and white designs. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is kind of with all the Halloween stuff. So let's go ahead and take a peek at it. Um, it's tucked in the back of the book with the fall Halloween goodies. Let's see here. Ooh, I like that. Very cool. Love the stripes. What's nice about this is if you don't want it just plain black and white, you can always color it up with your blends and do something totally different. If you wanted to do stripes of orange with black, you just color it up, which is kind of cool. Ooh, <laughs> I really like that. That's really awesome. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be very fun paper. And black and white is just so classic, right? Beetlejuice, yes, Kristen, oh my gosh, that's funny. Because I started to kind of think that, but yeah, exactly, it reminds me of Beetlejuice. Oh, that's really fun too. Oh my gosh, I really dig that paper. Like I said, I've always been into the classic black and white. Um, I'm into black and white photography, so it's just, it's, it's cool as classic. Okay, where am I gonna put all this stuff? All right, this, this caught my eye. This is called the Snowflake 12 by 12 Specialty Vellum. So I apologize for all the crinkle wrinkling, all that noise. Let's see if I can grab that puppy. Ooh, wow, that is stunning. Oh my lordy, that is so pretty. I could just stare at that for hours. How cool is that? 
Let's see how am I gonna do this here. I need a couple more hands. Ooh, that's really pretty too. It's heavier vellum too. It's not like our other vellum. It's a little heavier weight. Ooh, that's really cool. Wow, 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 wow. I know, right? <laughs> How can you not fall in love with this? And then there is, okay, this, I'm gonna turn it this way so you guys can see it. Now this one has um, flock, so it's flocked, it's fuzzy. It feels really good. <laughs> and this one is also flocked. And this one also has the flocking on it. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Yeah. You guys are going to definitely want to make sure that you get your hands on this pack of paper. I can see a lot of beautiful cards. And the thing is, it's not just Christmas. You know, it's snowflakes, so it could go all winter long. And again, this is called the, the Snowflake 12 by 12 Specialty Vellum. All right, this here is the Glimmer Paper. Um, it just says Glimmer 12 by 12 Specialty Paper. So let's rip into it. Let's check it out. I should have done all this stuff ahead of time. I didn't think of it. I don't think anything's going to beat that vellum, though, pretty wise. That, that's gorgeous. Okay, so let's see here. Ooh, that's very pretty. Oh, wow. I love the gold. And normally I'm not a gold person, so to speak. I'm more into the silver, but that is stunning. And again, it's not gonna shed like glitter normally does. So very pretty. And that's gonna go with a lot of the different DSP that we have in the holiday book. This is the uh, Festive Foils. It's 12 by 12 and it's specialty paper. Let's take a look. That means there'll be foil in it, which is kind of why they call it Festive Foil, right? So I don't know if you guys can be able to see this. Let's see here. There we go. That's really pretty. Ooh, that's pretty neat. And there's two of each. There's um, three different colors, two of each. That's kind of pretty too. All right, fun stuff. <laughs> now it's all kind of stuck here. There we go. All right, next pack of paper. Drum roll, please. So this particular paper is, it's more to the front of the holiday catalog. And this caught my eye right away. It's like a double suite of product. And it's traditional red and white in color. In fact, it's, it's uh, let's see, Garden Green, Pool Party, Real Red, and Sweet Sorbet. So um, let's take a sneaky peeky at it. Let's see here. We'll go this route. There we go. I love the candy canes. They're so cool. How fun. Whoops, make sure I didn't, there we go. Little polka dots, I love the stripes. How fun is that? Oh, neat, 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 neat. In fact, I think I know right where these are on my shelf, so let me go ahead and grab those two so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. So this is the double suite of part of the product and I think also that two pack of ribbon that's here somewhere anyway that I was showing you also goes with this. So um, 
This is a red rubber stamp set. And check that out. Some nice sentiments in it. And I love the huge candy canes. I think that's going to be a lot of fun to play with. And then here are the dies. I, I like this one. I think that's going to be a lot of fun to play with. But check out those big candy canes. Pretty awesome. And then Christmas Banners is also in that same suite of product. I'll check this one out really quick. And if you guys are commenting and I'm not commenting back, I apologize. I... I seem to miss half the comments until after I'm done. And I'm like, oh, I didn't even see that person say anything at all. So I apologize. I'm not ignoring anybody. I'm just not seeing all the comments that are going by. Anyway, so I love this one too. And then there are dies for that as well. So we'll check those out real quick. Those are fun. Those are really, really fun. I love it. I'm not good at making banners, so I'm always happy when I have a new banner die. Super, super, super fun. Not that I'm wishing that Christmas was here because we're just getting to spring in Michigan, but wow, this can be lots of uh, Christmas stuff going on here. Christmas and fall. Now, this pack of paper this whole this is like a suite of product and um i fell in love with the gnomes <laughs> they're just adorable so let's check out the paper i can't wait to see this in person so they're just darn cute right they're cute um, oh my gosh, check that out. That reminds me of um, a sweater. Yeah. Oh, that's really cute. Wow. Yeah, these little gnomes just stole my heart. So we do have a gnome set. Oh my gosh, check out the little mushrooms. <laughs> Those are so cute. And I'm assuming that the dies that are somewhere on my shelf, I'm not going to try to grab those either because otherwise you guys are going to be hanging out with me all night but um i'll check and see but i'm hoping fingers crossed that there's a die that will fit that and maybe like him that would be really cool right um because they're just they're doing more of that but oh my gosh this paper is stinking cute i love the mushrooms even though they're upside down i love the mushrooms <laughs> I don't know, are any of you guys into gnomes? I, I don't know what it is about gnomes. They just make me happy. They make me smile. Whoops. I always try to keep my paper in the pack that it comes in. I'm really weird like that. Um, it's just easier for me to keep track of it. That's why I'm trying to put it back in the packaging. Okie dokie. Let's see. Um, Save that one for last. Let's see here. Let's show this pack so i didn't i wasn't reading i was placing my order at two o'clock in the morning don't judge <laughs> and i wasn't reading that there was like this gazillion bits of paper in this pack so i ended up ordering two of these however i think it's going to get used a lot um this is the gingham cottage 12 by 12 designer series paper and the stamp set that Actually, the bundle that goes with it is really, really cool. Um, there are wreaths for all different times of the year. And um, I have a thing for plaid anyway. So as soon as I seen this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. So, <laughs> so let's go through this and check it out. Ooh, wow. Very cool. Yeah, I think I really dig this. What do you guys think? This is fun. Oh, I love this one. 
Oh my goodness sakes, this is really, oh yeah, right here, yeah. <laughs> Halloween all the way, very cool. Wow. So yeah, with that um, bundle, it's going to be super, super cute to play with this with the, the paper in that. Oh, how cool is that? Loving it. Stampin' Up nailed it. So cool. I think this has got to be one of my favorite all-time packs of DSP. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead and check out some more paper. So what's, what are your favorites so far? You guys let me know. Okie dokie. So this is, um, this is called Rustic Harvest. This is 12 by 12 in size. And there is a bundle that jives with this. And at first I wasn't really sure about it, but the more I was looking at it, the more I'm like, you know what? I think I really have to have this because if I don't get it, I know I'm going to get it. You know, one of those things, and when you see people start to create with those items that you didn't get, then all of a sudden it's like, okay, I'm having FOMO. I have to have it. Hi, Sheila. How are you? So um, let's check this one out. Ooh, that's really pretty. Love. Now, this is the type of stuff that I really dig. And I don't know if you guys can see all the way. I don't want to pull it all the way out. But this is the mirrored image on both sides. So this is when you want to do a super quick, easy card that's really impressive. Cut that paper in half to four by five and a quarter. You can get six card fronts out of this one piece. And just add a sentiment, maybe a little bit of ribbon, um, and you're good to go, right? I, I love... Easy crafting. I'm a lazy crafter. Oh, I love that one. That is really pretty. And I don't know, sometimes in the catalog, for me anyway, I look at it, I'm like, oh, that's kind of pretty. And then you see it in person, and it's like, oh, that is really pretty. <laughs> it's always better to see it in person, isn't it? I love it. That is going to be fun to play with. And like I said, maybe what I'll do is I'll get the bundles together so it will kind of all coordinate together and it'll make more sense to you guys. Okie dokie. Um, this pack, this I had to purchase. Um, it's called Celebrate Everything. This is a DSP, like, quadruple, triple whammy pack. <laughs> Whoops. Um... Things are falling on the floor. I'm getting obnoxious here. But anyway, this is a host pack of paper that you can choose either a stamp set or this if you wanted to as a host. Uh, it's called Celebrate Everything. It's 12 by 12 in size. And I'm trying to, 40, 48 pieces, I believe, of DSP. And when I seen this, I was like, OMG, I have to have it because I love the colors that are in this paper. So let's check this one out. So if you are a demonstrator, you can purchase this right now. Let's see, let's start from the back and work our way forward. How's that? But I just thought that the colors that were in this were so festive and fun and cheery. Um, I love that. Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of unexpected, right? But um, like they say, celebrate everything. So there's a little bit for all seasons. I mean, check this out. This could be 4th of July. This could be New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, right? And we have Valentine's in here, um, fall. That's really pretty. I love it because it's designs that um, we've not really seen before. Oh my gosh, that is stinking adorable. <laughs> of course, again, I'm all about Halloween. I love Halloween. This is really cool. Oh, I like that too. That almost reminds me of a print that we had last year. 
kind of sorta. This one, this is the one that caught my eye out of all the papers and I was like, I love the colors on that. I have to have that paper. It's this super cool. I just really, really love it. And I could see cutting these out and using them on cards, decorating bags and tags, things like that. That's really cool. I like that too. Wow. And again, some more, um, whether it be New Year's Eve, Happy New Year, um, Fourth of July. Super cute. Yep, I love it. <laughs> Very cool pack of paper. Stampin' up, you hit it again out of the ballpark. All right. Also, um, during July and August, we have celebration. And with celebration, there's some cute stamp sets and packs of paper and dies that you'll be able to choose from. And so I thought, since this is all part of all the paper that I got, this is one of the packs of paper that you can uh, receive or earn for free during celebration, or for those of us who are demonstrators, we can pre-earn it right now. And this is the six by six silver and gold specialty paper. And let's see if we can take a peek at this. Very pretty. Ooh, I love this one. Polka dots are my thing. It reminds me of um, festive, you know, like um, New Year's Eve. <laughs> so there's silver and then this is the gold. Very pretty. What's really cool is they were showing how you can sponge this using our um, blending brushes on it if you wanted to color it up a bit jazz it up. That'd be kind of fun. And then here is another pack of paper. Let's see here. Which is, which do I want to show first? Let's show this one first. So this is called Rings of Love. Now I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now because you can't see it all together, but this is for sale. This is something you can earn during celebration free. Okay, with a $50 purchase. Um, there is a bundle in our mini holiday book that coordinates with this perfectly, which is very cool. I couldn't wait to get it. So I, I just love the colors in this. Oh, check that out. How fun. And this could be, you know, interpreted either fall or into the holidays. I love it. Whoops, did I skip one? Maybe not. Oh, I did. That's really pretty. Oh, I love the birds. That's really cool. That is gorgeous. This is something I always wish I could do on my own, but I can never make it look like that, you know? And this makes it look like you did all this beautiful work and you didn't have to. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that a lot. Very different. Now, let's see here. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. See these rings here? There's a die, and I believe it will fit. I haven't tried it yet, but if memory serves me correct, um, there's a die that will fit that will cut these out. So that, yeah, so you can make it look like you've cut wood and put it on your card. Kind of cool, right? This is really neat. I wonder if the little gnomes would jive with that. I'll have to check it out some more. This is pretty. Very traditional. Oh, I like that too. Pretty darn cute, if I don't say so myself. And then this last pack of paper goes with a stamp set. I'm trying to think of the name of it offhand without having to look it up. 
Hmm. I know it has flowers in it. And I can't remember if it has a couple of sentiments in it. But this is also Celebration. Um, last Celebration, for those of you who were part of it, if you can remember that we had a stamp set and DSP together, and it was, um, you could earn it for free with a $100 minimum purchase. This is the same thing. This is the paper. Oh my goodness, I forgot to turn on my do not disturb. Sorry about that, guys. I just had a phone call come through. Um, anyway, there's a stamp set that coordinates with this. <laughs> but let's just go ahead and take a look at the paper because that's what I have. That's what I have. That's what we'll peek at. Oh, that's really pretty. That's gorgeous. Oh, I like this one. Very pretty. Something, again, that's a little bit different and some colors that are put together that I personally may not have thought of together. Ooh, that's pretty. It matches. <laughs> it's almost like I did that on purpose, but I didn't. I didn't. This is kind of pretty. I like that. Ooh, I like this one, too. So, yeah. So, again, this is... um. Earnable during celebration for a $100 order because it has a stamp set that coordinates with it. And darn, let me see if I can find it. Give me just a sec here. Aha, I did. I found it. So it's this, and there are no sentiments. For some reason, I was thinking that there was. But um, so this coordinates this. These two things go together, and it's a celebration item. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead, you guys, and we'll stop with that because that was quite a bit of stuff, right? And I think what I'll do tomorrow is I'll show more of the bundles and maybe the suite of product that all goes together that will make more sense to you. Um as I'm looking at everything that's kind of stacked around me. I didn't want to forget anything. Oh, actually, there is one more thing. And I didn't see it because it fell on the ground, or on the floor. Let me get this out of the way. So right now, well, when the catalog goes live, there's going to be a kit called the Nourish and Flourish Kit. And I want to read you guys a little something so I don't get this incorrect. So um, let's see here. And it says, food scarcity is an issue facing communities across the globe. We aim to make a difference and we hope you'll join us. For each Nourish and Flourish kit you purchase, Stampin' Up! is going to donate $3 to support organizations working to end food scarcity and you can help by purchasing a kit and buy one for yourself and buy one for a friend so i wanted to check this out because i just thought it looked super super cute and it's this cute little like um a lunch box it is lined which is super cool um so whether you want to carry food in here beverages or maybe you just want to use it to take to a crop to put your goodies in um, or even craft supplies as far as that goes. But it's kind of cool. It is lined so that it can be used a thermal-like, I guess. And then along with, let me show you the front of it. It is super cute. I know it's kind of close-ish, isn't it? Let me see here. I want to make sure you guys can see it okay. There we go. Um, and the side and the back has got the Stampin' Up! logo on it, which is kind of cute. And the zipper is in gold. Adorable. And then it also has this kit in it um, where you can make, it looks like nine cards in the kit. Excuse me. And let's check it out. Let's just rip right into it. So again, it has full color instructions. And glue dots. 
I flip this all around. And some cute embellishments along with my very favorite thing, dimensionals. And then it has the envelopes that coordinate with the cards. Let's see if I can show you the lining inside them. Very cool. Ooh, that's really cool. It's embossed. That's neat. And it looks like there's absolutely no stamping. Well, that's kind of neat. So that way you don't have to even be a stamper. And then these, apparently, yep, they are punch outs. And they're in all the languages. So if you want to confuse somebody who doesn't speak French <laughs> and send them a card, that would be kind of funny. I've done that before. I'm just saying. <laughs> and this is really cute. I like that a lot. Very, very cool. And again, more sentiments to stick onto your card with the dimensionals that are given. Oh, and then there's this one that's also, so all of them are embossed already. And what's nice is they're pre-cut, pre-scored, and then you have all of these cute little punch outs that are ready to add to your card. How cute is that? Aw, how fun. So that's the Nourish and Flourish kit. And I forgot of the cost on this one. Hmm, I'll have to check that out. Let me see if I can find it here really quick. Although I think I buried my catalog in the disaster zone here. But um, yeah, super cute. And then just by coincidence, I had my cup out. And I just wanna let you guys know once again, everybody can order these. And if you're on my mailing list, You've seen that everybody, demonstrators and customers, can order these cool thermal cups, mugs, whatever you want to call them. And they're in all five of our ink colors. Now, if you really wanted to give a really cool gift to one of your crafting friends, order yourself one of these and your friend, and then also get a mug that goes with it. Look at how well it perfectly goes together. Isn't that cool? And this is Parakeet Party. I almost said Parakeet Punch. I caught myself again. But anyway, it coordinates perfectly with it. So you could put your stuff in there, you know, food and your beverage, whatever. So anywho, it was just kind of like one of those little accidental things. And I'm like, oh my gosh, my mug matches perfectly with this cute little bag. So anyway, that is everything for now like i said i didn't show you any of the stamp sets or the bundles um just because there's just so much but i think what i'll do i'll hop on here again tomorrow afternoon as soon as i can and otherwise i will also see you at my regular time on sunday at one o'clock eastern time for um sunday crafternoon with dawn I really appreciate you guys popping on here, and thanks to those who watch me live. Thanks to those of you who will be watching the replay. And I hope that this um, gets you all pumped up for the holiday book. There's so much good stuff in that book. It, um, it's incredible, and it's, I, I'm so excited for the holiday season. Thanks, you guys, so much. Have a great rest of your day. We'll talk with you soon. Bye-bye.